they're going to keep buying. You know, India, uh, like other countries um, in Asia, even Japan and other countries, in local currency terms, they're seeing much higher oil prices than even the rest of us in dollar terms with the depreciation of the rupee and so forth. So India has grown from a small drinker, if you will, of Russian crude to a big consumer of Russian crude, some 700,000 barrels a day in May. And we think that's going to continue. And, you know, we think there's been quiet support even from the West for that. Because if you think about it, the Biden administration, the Europeans, until recently anyway, they want India to keep buying Russian oil, but they want to do it at a discount. They want to hurt Putin's revenues, but they want those barrels to flow to global oil markets so the overall price won't go up for everybody. So I think that Indian buying is going to continue uh, into the future. They, they're they desperate. They import 85% of their, their oil needs. Their currency is weak. Uh, they can't uh, say no to the great deal that they're getting uh, from Russian barrels. So there's going to be that phased ban on Russian oil together with the China COVID lockdown release. What is this going to be doing to oil prices? What's your target? Well, our target is we think uh, Brent is still going to rise. Uh, in the third quarter, we see a probable peak in crude oil prices uh, at $117 average, which means we should see prints of well into the $120 range. Uh, and if we're wrong, the risk is probably higher than that. But we think the third quarter will be enough. You know, it's not just crude oil now. Crack spreads are the difference between gas oil and diesel and gasoline and oil and crude oil are now 50 60 dollars matter of fact they've resumed rising after after march and so if you combine the crude oil plus the high product prices retail consumers are seeing gargantuan increases in oil prices record highs and that will cause a macro burden so we think in the third quarter prices will probably have reached levels where they will force demand declines and that is how this rally is going to end, in my view, as they all do with demand declines and unfortunately a decent chance of recession with that.